when the world's two biggest economies, biggest energy users and biggest carbon emitters promise to cut emissions, environment watchers are excited. Wu Changhua, Greater China CEO at the Climate Group, is a passionate advocate for more joint action. The two largest economies, when they join hands, they create probably the biggest momentum uh, towards what I call clean revolution. At the top level, the U.S.-China Energy and Environment Corporation 10-year framework, which runs till 2018, has facilitated frequent dialogues, produced research and pilot programs. You started to see like, uh, you know, low carbon cities, smart cities, uh, on transportation issues, electric vehicles, you started to see car carbon capture storage, and you started to see energy. Generally, renewable energy, clean energy, and mothers, buildings, all stuff like that. So you start to see all those pieces of big, the, the big puzzle actually, the solutions, and the two countries really are enhancing their collaboration and trying to find the solutions. On corporate engagement, one American company that ticks all the boxes in the Sino US joint green drive is Honeywell. We know you need the government's commitment right from the top because you have to involve some policy settings. And uh, for companies like us, we like to have working on an environment where government has determination to address such issues. Did you know that 40% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions come from construction? To address that, China and the U.S. have just set up the China-U.S. Building Energy Efficiency Fund, pulling together China property giants like Vanka and Soho, as well as leaders in U.S. clean technology, such as Honeywell. With the start of China's tighter environment laws this year, investment in the green drive is gaining traction. Environment protection stocks jumped 42% in the first eight months of the year, compared to a drop in the overall Chinese market. When Chinese President Xi and U.S. President Obama shake hands on more green initiatives, they're showing that the trend of collaborative innovation to address common challenges is cutting across competing companies, cities, and even the two biggest economies in the world.